Welcome back. Well, coming up next week on Monday, May 15th at the Laguna Hills Community Center, the Global Harmony Symphony is having an event and I think many of you who've watched us uh, over the years know Valerie Geller and this is her symphony. She is the maestra and the founding director. Good to see you again as always. And today you brought on a celloist, Michael Kaufman, who I'd like to welcome. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to have you here today. This is fantastic. So first, tell me, if people haven't seen you before or haven't heard about the Global Harmony, Harmony Symphony, give us a little background on that. Well, actually, the Global Harmony Symphony itself is the outgrowth of a couple other orchestras. Mm -hmm. Um, Global Harmony has been around since January of last year and we are a fully volunteer community-based orchestra and we represent musicians who join us from LA County, our home Orange County, mm -hmm. Riverside County, San Diego County and these very dedicated musicians drive in once a week and we rehearse. We now have a new rehearsal home at Newhart Middle School in Mission Viejo for our fall okay. and spring seasons. And then during the summer, our rehearsal home is right across the street from the studios here at the Regency. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, the orchestra for summer is sometimes a little bit reduced and it's lighter repertoire. But right now for our upcoming concert with Michael as our featured soloist, it's full classical and Michael will be featured on the Dvorak Cello Concerto, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's a stunning piece of music. And then one of the classical repertoire favorites is the Dvorak Symphony No. 8. And that, I think, is a wonderful pairing with this concerto because it's so I think it's very cello dominant. So many of the themes are introduced by the cello section and a lot of the juicy romantic mm -hmm. flavor of that work is in the cello section. That's fantastic. So yeah. well, let's talk to Michael and find out about yourself. I understand you're from uh, back east, back yeah. from Cleveland, but you've lived out here for quite a long time. Yeah, well I came here in 2010 for grad school at USC and I stayed for my doctorate through 2015 and I've been uh, freelancing and teaching over the last two years. Yeah, I've looked over your bio here and wow, uh, you've done an awful lot and um, you served on the USC Faculty of Student Instructors from two, 2011 to 2014 and you're also with the uh, uh, Pasadena Conservatory and Chamber of Music Coaching at Saddleback College and, Mm -hmm. Wow, you're not just you don't just play you teach. Yeah, well teaching is a really big part of my life um, This year actually I started teaching a lot at uh, the Harmony Project and oh, what's uh, that? It's an El Sistema program mm -hmm. an after-school program for oh, nice. uh, low-income kids uh, to get free lessons mm -hmm. and play an orchestra and I've been teaching a little over 30 kids there this year uh, which has been really rewarding and see them progress and wow really that is really nice I think that's fantastic that you're you're taking your passion and passing it on to others which is what you do yes so tell us about uh, Sakura Sakura so this is a cello quintet uh, with five cellos uh, it's a kind of unique ensemble that uh, we started about a little over two years ago mm -hmm. and we are all uh, current or former students of Ralph Kirschbaum, who is a really wonderful cellist, mm -hmm. uh, originally from Texas, uh, and then spent most of his career in the UK, and now is the director of strings at USC. And uh, we formed uh, to, 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 make, to make music together, um, and there wasn't much repertoire, obviously, for cello quintet, that's kind of a unique ensemble. So, uh, we have done a lot of arrangements, we play a lot of vocal works where we just play the, the vocal parts on cello, and we've also been commissioning composers to write for us. Very nice. Now, with this quintet here, are, since I, I was asking Michael beforehand, I don't know the difference between a cello and a bass fiddle or any of this, are there different cello styles, just like there are with different, different horns, in other words, different sizes, can you tune them differently? To, to have high and low notes? Well, one of the really great things about a cello is that it has an incredible range. Okay. So um, the very lowest note uh, is one of the lowest notes in the orchestra, and the cello can actually play 
as high as a violin, believe it or not. Um, we oh, usually okay. we usually don't, but we can. And mm -hmm. in an ensemble like Sakura, uh, we really use all all of this range. So you'll have the bass voice playing very, very low at times, and sometimes you'll have all five cellos playing extremely high. So it just depends on what we're playing. Okay, so you can vary it like that, which I didn't yeah. realize. Yeah. I think people hear cello that think it's all going to be the low, the low uh, bass noises that you hear, and sure. and not the high. So that's that's interesting. That's uh, kind of neat. Uh, as far as where you folks play with this quintet, where do you uh, where do you guys hang out? Do you, is there one specific location where you have regular concerts? Well, we are based in LA, okay. um, so uh, we, this year we are actually the Young Ensemble in Residence at the Da Camera Society in Los Angeles. Uh, we did a concert at Tree People in Beverly Hills about a week ago. and. Um, We've also performed at the Piatigorsky Festival that happened uh, at the end of last year. It was this mm -hmm. big international cello festival. Uh, we performed uh, at some concerts at USC, at Disney Hall. Um, and then this year we did a little tour. We went to uh, Sedona and played a concert on their series. And then we went to Cleveland and St. Louis and played concerts there. So, oh, so you got, got to go home. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. that so must have been nice. You still have really family nice. back there? Yeah, lots of family. Great, home, so. they, did they come and uh, they did. cheer you on? Yeah. That's fantastic, what, how rewarding, right? Yeah. And uh, Michael's gonna pray, play for us, by the way, in just a moment. Uh, I'm excited to hear that. It's, it's gonna be kind of nice. So tell me about, uh, as far as the Global Harmony Symphony, how did you get involved with that? It was uh, Valerie twisting your arm, or you <laughs> well, <laughs> called you up, and how did you find out about that? Yeah, well, um, you know, I, I worked a lot with Midori when I was at USC, oh, okay. and um, she knew Valerie, mm -hmm. and uh, Valerie got in touch, and uh, asked me what I wanted to play, and I've always wanted to play the Dvorak Concerto with orchestra. It's one of the concertos that I haven't gotten the opportunity to play with orchestra, so, um, and she said I could play whatever I wanted, so. That's great. I think I remember Midori. That's right. Yeah. Didn't she come on before? She hasn't been on, but some of her students have okay, been on. Okay. All right. Because I remember the name. Right. Yeah. She, she herself is just, well, at the top of the list, she is such a delightful human being. She's just a charming woman to know, and of course, she's a stellar musician, performer, <laughs> off the charts, magnificent. Yeah. And, um, you know, I think these wonderful people just have been able to nurture and mentor mm -hmm. such wonderful players. And Michael is one of them, and some of our soloists who have been guests on this show in the past also have been from her class at USC. Yeah. And so it's really great to know her, and there's such a lovely, um, camaraderie, um, it's very um, homey in, yeah. in orchestra, the musicians and the way the soloist works with everyone and everyone's there for the same purpose. Right. It, it's great. It, you know, love. you mentioned how the mentoring and as long as I've known you, that's a common thread, common theme when it comes to musicians. Uh, that uh, it, at least from what I've seen for, from you, other musicians as well, other people we've had on, is that they want to play, they want to be part of something bigger than just themselves, but they want to mentor others as well. Is that, I mean, obviously, what well, you just told us, that seems your passion as much as playing. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I hope I can, I can uh, have a lot of students and mentor them over, over time. I mean, I'm still fairly, fairly young, so I don't have a lot of students that are... Yeah, but you'll get there. Well, we'll right. see. You know, you're doing a lot already, so yeah. that's for sure. Music is so great because it's something that no one can ever take away from you. You develop that's this true. love for playing and you have this special gift and a special insight into the creation and actually it's, I mean, we need to have the passive, you know, musicians mm -hmm. who are our audience and help to support what it is that we do, but to actually be an active participant, it's a very special opportunity to do that. Yeah. And what I love about the Global Harmony Symphony is that it's, we're really non-judgmental. Anybody who wants to play has an opportunity to just pick up an instrument, even if you're a beginner, and you get to, even just to sit amongst musicians, um, you get, there's a special energy, and to actually 
draw a note and yeah. to have been a part of creating this wonderful work, it's it's a real rush. It's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's terrific and to do. People are going to get to hear that coming up. We're going to have uh, we're going to take a quick break here, and then Michael is going to get set up over there. And what are you mm -hmm. going to play for us? I'm going to play the prelude to the third box suite. Sounds great. I'm looking forward to that. So I want to remind you again that uh, the Global Heart Funny Symphony will be taking place on Monday, May 15th at Laguna Hills Community Center. It's $10, admission free parking over there, and we invite you to uh, check that out at uh, the website, globalharmphonysymphony.com, so you can get all the information there. And I'm looking to see what time, oh, 7.30 p.m., there it is, yes. right in front of me. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind, it's just right down the street. We're gonna take a, a quick break, and then Michael's gonna bring out his cello, and we're gonna listen to some beautiful music. We'll be right back. Thank you. 